What's up guys? I want to do a three year review of the Carl's Place Premium Golf Impact Screen. Three years in, it's starting to show its first signs of wear. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Let's take a look. So this is my simulator. And like I said, today we're going to focus on the Carl's Place screen here. It's their premium line of screen, and it has been a fantastic, fantastic screen in my opinion. It has held up very well, uh, but like I said, it has started to show its first signs of wear here over the last month or so. And I wanted to point those things out. So we get a ton of usage on the screen so it gets used very regularly uh, it's had thousands of rounds played and now I've noticed a few marks here that have shown up down the center of the hitting area and kinda high on the face of the screen so the height of the damage makes it pretty much assuredly the spin on the ball I'm using almost exclusively Pro V1s or Vice uh, Pro Plus balls. So uh, it's premium balls and it has happened over time. Uh, this is the, within the last month is the first I've noticed that damage. The down below I did have to sew a ripped spot at the bottom, but that was more user install error. My ramp was too low and a low worm burner hit directly on a grommet and ripped directly through the screen. Over here is the left side of the screen. It's the premium uh, impact screen at Carl's, and you can see it still looks very nice. Not very many shots have hit over there uh, compared to uh, the friction marks you see there and then the friction damage you see there in the middle of the screen. Um, you know, over time, I guess it happens. I still think I have plenty of usage left because the good news is is the damage is not noticeable whatsoever from the hitting zone uh, once the projector is on and you know the system is set up and running it still plays and looks fantastic the image quality is great I'm running a uh, Optima 1080p HDR uh, one of the I think it was around a $900, $800, $700 projector um, and it looks great. What I'll do is I'll get the lights cut off and show you guys this thing in operation. Don't mind that indention there. It's the last ball that uh, we hit into it before um, shooting this video. So let me get the lights cut off and I'll show you what this looks like with the system up and running. All right, I've got my system turned on and the lights off. And this is Cascada Golf Course. And this is an actual, my actual screen. What you're looking at is not a not from the computer and this is what it looks like from the hitting zone and you can not see the damage marks at all from here uh, the screen pops nice and bright and everything looks really nice I'm running an Optima 1080p HDR short throw projector uh, to project this image and it was only seven or eight hundred dollars so it wasn't one of the crazy 4k super expensive ones but there's the damage when you get up close you can see the one there in the fairway but the higher ones are a little tougher to see because they're kind of hidden in the trees but that's what it looks like when you're up close with the projector on and I'm not even sure yet feeling I feel it right there so that is the uh, higher damage it's hidden right there in that tree so it's really hard to see I'm not worried about the screen actually breaking down and having a ball go through it and hit my garage door in the back uh, the screen still plays great and I plan to continue to use it as long as I absolutely can and I believe I'll likely be doing a four-year review next year um, with this same screen so if you're on the fence about getting one, I do highly recommend it. It's been a great screen. Uh, let's take a look and see what it looks like to actually hit golf balls into it. Um, so you can see how it performs in the field, so to speak. Let's get on that now. All right, I got the system set up here. Let's take a swing. Now this first swing that uh, hit, I hit one way to the right and I did not have the system properly set up so if you're running GS Pro and you forget to turn on your launch monitor you can go in here and run a reconnect uh, button that says reset GS Pro connect 
you go into the game settings and it'll pop up and turn green and if you cut the system back on quick enough by hitting save uh, the shot will still have registered and there it goes and I like I said I pushed this one way to the right not a good tee shot to start with. Luckily, I am on course practice mode where you just hit over and over. So we'll take one more, and you guys want to see what it looks like uh, when the screen takes the shot and how the ball works and how that indentation kind of moves around the screen based on the last shot. But it's not really that noticeable. That's a little bit better. So that's... That's the screen in Usage Plan GS Pro. So, should have plenty more time uh, to use this screen. So, hope y'all enjoyed this three year review. I've got links to the screen down below, as well as enclosures and more from Carl's Place to help you guys get set up with your golf simulator. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.